This is a production of the Conscious Evolution Institute and HGH.TV. 10 Tips for Increasing HGH Levels Although you may not realize it, human growth hormone is incredibly important throughout the lifespan, not just during puberty. Biological HGH is secreted by the human pituitary gland and is distributed throughout the body before it is ultimately absorbed by the liver. During childhood, an absence of growth hormone prevents the human body from growing properly, and there is growing evidence mounting that shows that a childhood deficiency can lead to a number of medical problems later in life. Natural HGH also promotes optimal health throughout the lifespan via a number of different mechanisms. How does HGH encourage a healthy body? Below is just a short list of ways that human growth hormone promotes a healthy body. Human growth hormone promotes normal development and maintenance of muscle mass. Patients with HGH deficiency struggle with symptoms of muscle atrophy as a result. HGH increases metabolism. Burning adipose fat and contributing to a healthy figure. Without healthy levels of growth hormone, the body loses an important mechanism to get rid of excess fat, and it makes losing weight through diet and exercise much more difficult. HGH is intimately involved with bone health, encouraging a process known as bone remodeling, which is how bones maintain optimal bone mineral density, preventing fractures and breaks. Human growth hormone promotes healthy organ maintenance. Because HGH has a stimulative effect upon cell metabolism and division, normal growth hormone levels are largely responsible for the renewal process which keeps the organs healthy and functioning at a high capacity. Human growth hormone even encourages the healthy growth of both nails and hair. Although these cells are technically dead skin cells, the body regenerates them more quickly because human growth hormone speeds up cellular replacement. HGH streamlines the circulatory and cardiovascular system, controlling triglyceride levels while reducing the influence of LDL cholesterol. In addition to this, it also increases levels of healthy cholesterol, known as HDL cholesterol. Through these means and others, human growth hormone reduces the risk of heart attack and stroke while strengthening the heart at the same time. Human growth hormone also acts as an important buffer against cognitive decline. Patients with low levels of HGH are much more likely to experience symptoms related to cognitive decline than patients with levels closer to normal. Another benefit directly related to cellular metabolism is that human growth hormone bolsters the function of the immune system. Individuals with low HGH production are much more susceptible to illness. Human growth hormone is even more important in another aspect of health, rehabilitation. Biological HGH helps the body recover more quickly from simple cuts and bruises, as well as more serious issues such as broken bones. Human growth hormone levels are correlated with general recovery time from surgery as well. This is just an abridged list of benefits of healthy human growth hormone production. Researchers are just beginning to fully understand the broad importance of this undeniably vital hormone. Human growth hormone production slows with age. Although HGH is incredibly important and sustains human health in so many ways, the human body starts to lose its ability to secrete human growth hormone effectively as we grow older. This progression from hormone balance to imbalance is an inevitable factor which occurs to all peoples and even all species. HGH is released at peak levels during puberty, and after puberty, HGH production decreases from a level which encourages growth to a level which encourages health. Growth hormone levels remain consistent from the end of puberty until the late 20s or even the early 30s. After this point, however, endogenous human growth hormone production starts to decline. This decline is slow but steady, and over the course of years or decades, it can start to have a significant impact on overall health. As human growth hormone levels decline, a number of changes take place. HGH deficiency plays a major role in the aging process. The more that we study the aging process, the more that we realize that so many factors of that process are actually the result of hormone imbalance and hormone deficiency. Hormone deficiency leads to a number of symptoms. It hinders the body's ability to sustain muscle mass, it encourages fat accumulation, and it weakens the bones, heart, and cardiovascular system. HGH deficiency leads directly to increased risk of numerous health issues which can hamper your own life or even contribute to your own mortality. How is HGH deficiency diagnosed? 
There are two important means by which physicians diagnose human growth hormone deficiency. One way to diagnose low growth hormone levels is through pituitary stimulation. This form of testing is used to diagnose HGH deficiency, which is caused by an insufficiency of the pituitary. Most people have healthy pituitary glands, however. The second way that human growth hormone deficiency is diagnosed is indirectly by means of measuring biological IGF-1 levels. IGF-1 is also known as insulin-like growth factor 1. HGH is delivered quickly to the body in pulses, making it hard to measure. Luckily, HGH is quickly converted into IGF-1, where it remains in the bloodstream at relatively steady levels. Most people experience HGH deficiency as a result of reduced stimulation by a hormone known as GHRH, so pituitary testing is not an effective means of establishing human growth hormone deficiency for patients that are experiencing flagging HGH levels. By utilizing both tests, doctors can more effectively establish the root cause of your growth hormone deficiency. How do IGF-1 levels indicate HGH deficiency? The level of IGF-1 in the bloodstream correlates effectively with internal HGH levels, making it a useful means to accurately diagnose human growth hormone deficiency. When testing IGF-1 levels, the key operative value is 200. Patients with IGF levels below 200 are generally considered to be deficient in human growth hormone. Of course, the exact need for HGH varies according to age, but 200 is an ideal rule of thumb. How can I restore healthy human growth hormone levels? For patients that have very low levels of HGH, the most effective means to quickly restore optimal hormone balance is through the use of human growth hormone injections or seromorlin acetate injections. HGH shots restore human growth hormone directly, supplementing the production of HGH by the pituitary. Seromorlin acetate restores human growth hormone by mimicking the function of GHRH by the hypothalamus increasing the rate of natural secretion of testosterone by the pituitary gland. Both HGH and seromorlin acetate shots are delivered on a daily basis in order to restore healthy HGH production. Both forms are very effective and it is up to you and your doctor to decide which form of treatment will likely provide the best benefits. Natural Ways to Boost HGH Production Of course, for patients under the age of 30, or patients with mild HGH deficiency, you may wish to supplement your HGH production naturally until an age which you qualify for human growth hormone replacement therapy. In addition to simply aging, there are numerous factors which contribute to optimal hormone balance, including physical activity. Human growth hormone is stimulated by strenuous physical activity, and hard exercise like weightlifting or sprinting stimulates HGH production effectively. Weight Body fat naturally suppresses human growth hormone production. People that weigh more produce more insulin. Increased insulin production has a negative effect on HGH secretion and it also reduces the benefits of secreted growth hormone. Stress levels. High levels of stress correlate with many negative health factors. Production of cortisol can hinder optimal hormone production. Sleeping habits. Human growth hormone is produced primarily when we sleep, and when we sleep poorly, our HGH production suffers. Nutrition. Diet is an incredibly important part of a healthy hormone balance. Without providing the body with the nutrients that it needs, the body will not be able to produce HGH as effectively, or it may choose to divert existing resources to other aspects of health. HGH boosting tips. We also have a number of other recommendations when it comes to naturally restoring hormone balance. Below are 10 effective tips on how to boost HGH. One. As we mentioned above, intense exercise is an amazing way to stimulate HGH production. The best type of exercise is known as burst training. In this form of exercise, you encourage your heart to work extra hard for short periods of time, around 30 seconds per burst. Engaging in five or more 30 second bursts per workout will provide you with a significant boost in HGH. This form of exercise stimulates fast twitch muscle which is the most effective way to stimulate growth hormone through exercise. 2. Get in touch with your circadian rhythm. Sleep is arguably more important for healthy hormone production than any other single factor. Make sure you get 8 hours of sleep per night, or even a bit more than 8, if that is what your body requires. Also, try to fall asleep at the same time every night when possible. 
By adhering to a schedule, you make it easier for your body to enter the deepest phases of sleep responsible for maximum HGH release. Take melatonin. Consider taking melatonin before you fall asleep, especially if your sleeping habits aren't as regular as you'd like them to be. We believe that a dose of melatonin between 1 and 5 milligrams just before bedtime can help you get the most out of your nighttime HGH release. Studies have shown that a dose of melatonin before bedtime can boost HGH production by more than 150%. 4. Supplement your diet with GABA. GABA is an amino acid known as gamma-aminobutyric acid. Like melatonin, research has shown that GABA supplementation can increase human growth hormone production. GABA can increase HGH production by as much as 200% for some patients. GABA is incredibly effective if taken just before engaging in exercise. It also provides benefits if taken before bed as well, especially for patients that have trouble sleeping. Eat more protein. In order to maximize HGH production, engage in smart eating. Choose foods that give you the most bang for the buck in regard to protein. In addition to this, be conscientious about your carbohydrate intake. Don't go to sleep full, but we recommend eating a small snack before bed, which is both high in protein and low in carbs. The amino acids within the protein will increase human growth hormone production, and by restricting carbs, you can prevent insulin from counteracting the productivity of human growth hormone. 6. Get your vitamin D. Although the body can create vitamin D through contact with sunlight, most people don't get enough vitamin D in their diet. Even if you do get an adequate level of exposure to sunlight, we still recommend that you take in around 100 nanograms per milliliter of vitamin D per day. Great vitamin D sources include fortified milk, flounder, salmon, tuna, mushrooms, and ricotta cheese. 7. After exercise, do not eat or drink sugar. Studies show that ingesting sugar in the two hours after a workout will encourage the release of somatostatin by the hypothalamus. High glycemic foods also lead to insulin spikes, which decrease the effects of HGH production. Excess consumption of simple sugars and carbs lead directly to inhibited HGH production. Combine L-lysine and L-arginine. Although both of these amino acids provide benefits when taken separately, the body treats these two nutrients as component parts, and combining the two can stimulate HGH production significantly. In order to maximize the benefit, take 3 to 5 grams of each per day. When taken alone, these two amino acids do not significantly stimulate HGH release. 9. Supplement your diet with glutamine. We recommend taking up to 10 grams of glutamine per day, either after exercise or just prior to bed. There is evidence that glutamine can increase the human growth hormone production. This benefit is apparent even at levels of 2 grams per day. 10. Finally, supplementing your diet with alpha-GPC can also encourage healthy HGH production. Alpha-GPC is a natural compound that is present in milk and is also naturally synthesized by the brain. Research shows that taking alpha-GPC before engaging in anaerobic exercise stimulates HGH release. In addition to benefits related to HGH, there is also benefits that alpha-GPC has beneficial stimulative effects upon the brain, which limit cognitive decline in, with age. Alpha-GPC may also protect the brain against neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. This article was a production of the Conscious Evolution Institute and HGH.TV. If you found this article informative, we encourage you to visit our website. If you're interested in what hormone replacement therapy can do for you or a loved one, we encourage you to contact the Conscious Evolution Institute today. Thank you. Thank you.